this is not a test. This is rock and roll. I wake up every morning in a bed that's too small, drive my daughter to a school that's too expensive, and then I go to work to a job for which I get paid too little. Oh, this is gonna be fun. We can stay up late, swapping manly stories, and in the morning, I'm making waffles. You're waking up with the morning app on 90.5 WASU. Happy Monday, good morning, and welcome back to the morning app. I'm Dovey, I'm here with Katie and Natalie. How y'all doing this morning? We're fantastic. <laughs> I Super think fantastic for Monday. I haven't had for a lot Monday. of... Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Dude, I haven't had a lot of social interaction recently, so I don't mm. know if everybody's on the same page as me, but I'm at the point in the semester where it's not quite stressful like finals week. Okay. But the stamina is starting to kind of... Yes. The senioritis yep. is picking yep. up. Wavering. No, it, it all started kind of when I went and picked up my cap and gown, and I saw the little black and gold tassel you know and I just like teared up of it and I was like no oh, I'm not sure. about to lose it like I was walking like <laughs> away from the bookstore I was like oh, no 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 people can't see me just like losing it's just a whole public. breakdown about a cap and gown oh my goodness is it early to do that or should I be like is I Did don't you know order I it? have no idea I, I don't know I would say to go ahead and order it at Make least. Make sure you order I'll it. I'll probably just yeah. go ahead and order it today. Yeah. Yeah. I don't feel yeah. like I'm behind or anything. I've, I've, whenever I get an email from them, yeah. you know, I make that's sure to take of, care of it. But that's what a lot of people have been waiting on is an email. But they haven't done that, that though. I think that yeah. I mean, I think they mentioned something like in January. Or something. Yeah, I, don't I think, think they've done that in a while. Well, I knew a couple people who got who ordered theirs at the um, the grad expo, and so maybe that was more of what they're relying. The time, on. yeah. yeah. Mm, I don't know. I mean, I'll go in my pajamas if I have to. <laughs> I'm getting my degree at this point, you know. They won't let but you. Are you serious for not wearing the... They're very specific Well, about that makes what sense. I respect that. Yeah. I need... Uh, Natalie and I were talking about it the other day. We need to figure out how to decorate our cap and gown... Or, like, the caps, is yes. what I mean. Because it's... Yeah. It's, <laughs> I have no idea what I want to do, but I definitely want it to be cool and pretty. <laughs> but... I don't always, always do something cool, isn't it? <laughs> I told I think I told you like my biggest thing is because my name's Dovey, sometimes people yeah. will read it and they, they think it's Davi. Aww. And so they'll yeah, yeah. always do the um Davi the they like they're like oh like the elf from Harry <laughs> Potter. Oh no. And I'm like, yeah, I just go with it, you know? I yeah. so it's like, you know, uh, I, I I would have like I would do the voice and stuff for them Aww. and you know, so I wanna get like a on the top of my cap it would be uh Master has given Davi a degree. Davi is a free elf. Aww. It's really you know. sweet. That is cute. And maybe you could get some fake ears. I don't yeah. know if you have enough space to put oh. all of that. No. I don't know. You should put yeah. a it sock and then Dovi like... is a free elf. Just like put a I sock could. on you. Yeah, I could True. put instead True. of a... Uh, instead of, uh, yeah, people know. Yeah, what, whatever know. those little bands are, right? You get like those the special cords. little cords. <laughs> the bands. Whatever those are, I'm just going to have a really long sock oh. <laughs> over my neck. I don't think they'd let you do that. Gosh. <laughs> be certified you have to find some sock club Listen, or something i am like twenty thousand dollars in debt can you just give me this one <laughs> moment to wear a sock Toby. somewhere uh, uh, we'll just staple it to your cap yeah there you go. i don't know there you go. i have i have two taylor swift quotes that i've been juggling oh between for yeah. a couple of years but that's always for a the couple plan. years well i had the one and then i thought of a second one i was like dang it <laughs> yeah i have to make a choice yeah i don't oh, know there's there's too many options honestly and i don't want it to be some basic quote but i also i don't know it has to be special yeah it's gonna be cool do you guys remember your high school uh your high school senior quotes on like the yes. yearbook did you ever think really hard about that because i feel like that's kind of what it is almost all over again just trying to figure out what kind of clever quote you can put on your uh, yearbook. So it can become a meme one day. Yeah. <laughs> oh um, my gosh, you're right. I can't. You're right. I, I've, I've read some really funny ones. My, my favorite one was from a friend. He said, uh, it's not enough that I should succeed, others must fail. No. <laughs> Which is, like, oh. really close to his personality. That sounds but. like Darth Vader. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. He's a nice dude, though. Um, but, mine yeah. Was, mine was an actual person's quote. Like, it wasn't funny at all. It was just... Aww. Just kind of, like, inspirational, maybe. Oh. It matches my high school experience. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Did you have one? Mm -mm. No, I was homeschooled, actually. So. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you could still have one. Yeah, I guess I, I could have. Let's make one. I know that. <laughs> no. 
Yes, this well, is your we one shot. Katie. Well, what's it gonna be? I you gotta. <laughs> If you could have given yourself one, what would it? What would you have oh, said? Oh man, it probably okay. So I was really. I mean, I still am into music, but I played music a lot then. So it probably would have been some kind of music quote, like about um, uh, what is it? The one that's like really basic. Um, the like when words fail, music speaks thing, which is like a cool one, but it's been way overused. But anyways, that probably would have been what it would have been. But I don't. Yeah. Know, who knows? Make or some it. like. <laughs> you so could have used the Elvis Dumbledore music quote. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I saw that one. Right. What was it exactly? It was like um, oh, music, the greatest magic of music all. Music is one of our most inexhaustible. No, I don't remember. Yeah. I don't no, know. but it. Yeah, I used to have that on the board in there. Yeah. That actually, that probably would. It would have been. been yours. Yeah. There are a couple Dumbledore that is, quotes that yeah. are like. Oh yeah. Dumbledore. Wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? To me? <laughs> they dumbled dope. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. That's a new it's vocabulary a, it's a, it's word. A, Dumbledore is just that a is cool. something. We're gonna talk about that. Uh, She's what writing a, it down. How was your weekends, by the way? <laughs> Changing the topic. <laughs> Did you guys do anything cool? I mean, uh, the weather was really nice it this weekend. So nice. I didn't get a chance to be up here. I was in uh, I was in Charlotte working, um, but I found my new favorite thing. It's called Pinterest. I don't oh. know if you've ever heard about it. <laughs> but oh, this, we've heard about Pinterest it. Pinterest is not something I don't think a lot of guys use. It's just not in our it's in, it's not in our day-to-day -day conversation, right? You're not gonna go from like, yeah, I totally got a crazy uh I had a I had a win streak on Call of Duty, uh and then afterwards, you know, I was on Pinterest. Like we don't really combine okay. these worlds All around. Right. And you know, the Pinterest is just never in the conversation. My girlfriend started talking about Pinterest. And I was like, you know what, let me get into it. And she showed me how she had all these boards, right? It's like she finds something interesting. I feel like an old person explaining the, the app yes. to people. Yeah. You know, you find, so, you find an interesting picture, you put yeah. it on the board. And I was like, hold on, this is actually kind of fun. Because it's like, I, you know, I, for example, I want to have uh, a personal recording studio one day. So I just okay. started typing, like, recording studio ideas. And then all these really interesting ideas started coming up. I'm a, like, listen, I watch HGTV for fun, you know? So, like, oh. all this home decor stuff I could find on there and create boards out of, I was having a blast. Like, if I'm at a coffee shop by myself or, like, you know, on the bus or whatever it is, that's, like, my go-to app now. Hmm. Yeah. You so know? you have your own account, or you're using Morgan's? Oh, no, I'm using my own. <laughs> oh, we got to go find his account. No, I'm, us I'm using my own. It's got, like, nerdy stuff on there. It's got, like, you know, like, literally I found, like, a uh, board game table, mm -hmm. like, you know, thing that I, I, I've been going through. So it's really fun because you can kind of design, you can come up with ideas for your next apartment and stuff. Yeah. I, it's a new thing for me. It's a new revelation. Don't you know. be so sophisticated. <laughs> See, that's my, that's been my weekend. I feel really old, but that's that's been the highlight of my. Yeah, that's that's a, a new way of using <laughs> Pinterest. See, my experience with Pinterest was in like high school when everyone had the wedding um, boards, where I was just like, you know, dream wedding things. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, and um, just like fashion stuff that no one was actually gonna wear. I don't know. It was. It was an interesting place in those times. Also, memes. The memes on Pinterest are, they're... Um, they're pretty good? They're, no, they're... <laughs> I would not say that. Oh. Uh, okay, so think Facebook memes from, like, 2010, 12... Or, yeah, 2012. Oh, my gosh. The ones with the, the font. It's just a picture. <laughs> yeah. And whatever the font is. Yep. And you just have a correlation with the picture. Like uh, yep. Bad Luck Brian. Yes. You remember yep. that? Those the, are the psycho girlfriend one. They're all old. All the Pinterest all memes are old, and they're all like, still there. <laughs> they're still there, yeah. Still circulating. I still see wow. them pinned, like, even today. Like, who's Piece using history? Who's, who's actually thinking these are funny still? But, uh, you know. Uh, well, I have I've not done the Pinterest, but I know that my mother does the Pinterest, okay. so I've creeped occasionally to see what exactly oh. she's pinning. <laughs> I learned I've, <laughs> I've heard that's a really good idea if you have, um, if you know that someone has a Pinterest board and you can find their account and you, like, need to get them a gift, that stalk that's them. the perfect place Ooh, to go. Yeah, stalking, is it? Yeah. Yeah, the I worked... The best way to get to know anybody is just, just stalking, stalking them. <laughs> Honestly, you know, because they're never going to tell you what they really want. 
<laughs> they'll tell Pinterest. <laughs> they'll tell Pinterest. <laughs> and that's okay. Yeah, no, because I was <laughs> at a summer camp and we did Secret Santa, and one of the guys mm-hmm. did that. He found the girl he had for Secret Santa. He went and found her Pinterest board and then used that to, like, he knew what colors she liked and was able to make the whole gift, like, in a certain color scheme. Yeah, no, it was, Is that it was okay? amazing. This man has that- evolved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, she was super impressed by it. But if I it's don't Pinterest, know. it's different because you're not really posting your schedule or, like, things you're doing or, you know, about you. You're just using pictures to figure out who this person is. Imagine a dating app like that. <gasps> a Pinterest dating app where you can only use pictures to describe who you are and what you oh, like. Oh, that would be cool, honestly. Maybe. I don't That's know somewhere that. between Pinterest and Instagram, I feel like. Mm. Yeah. But Instagram, you have captions and stuff. So you mm. say, what oh, was in France? You know? But they pick this... like the most perfect versions of themselves. Exactly. So you don't even see photos of them, you just see what they like and pictures of it. Hmm, just like very abstract photos. I've always said about... This is my personality. (laughs) I'll be honest, like you could make a good dating app just out of what people like to listen to uh, with music, you know? Yes. You can uh, can tell a lot about somebody from... I mean, not always. Sometimes people will surprise you with what they listen to, but usually if you're like, oh, you listen to this, I love this. We probably have similar everything because, uh, you know, the songwriting affects us the same way. Okay. I feel like I don't yeah. really know someone until I've gone through their playlist. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, or like yeah. figured out what it is they listen to or what concerts they've been to because those are the artists they care about the most. Like once you figure that mm-hmm. out, it's like you know their soul. <laughs> oh. That's like if if she if, if Natalie finds another Taylor Swift fan, it's just instant like cl- you know connection right there. Mm-hmm. Maybe, hopefully. Uh, oh. I don't she's, know. She's is it not? <laughs> I don't know, because are they going to try to compete with me and one-up me in knowledge? Because oh. then they, I don't want that. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. oh, my gosh, so they, so Natalie. Y'all, so do you think that happens all the time? If two Taylor Swift fans meet up, they're like, who's the biggest Taylor well, Swift okay, fan? Well, okay, I think not. casual Taylor Swift fans. So, or I don't know, Natalie is a special case. She really, she's like a super fan of Taylor Swift. Most people, if they're fans of Taylor Swift, are just kind of, you know, like, yeah, I like, yeah, I like Taylor Swift. She's pretty cool, you know. And then I feel like they could be friends based on that because they're both like, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't know that about Taylor Swift. But Natalie knows it all. If someone tried to be like, oh, did you know that Taylor did this? She'd be like, yeah, I knew that. (laughs) The other fans are probably pretty normal. Promise. (laughs) They probably are. (laughs) I'm just not one. (laughs) Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well. (laughs) Natalie. Oh, well. You know how it is. <laughs> with with fans of music, we can get pretty hardcore. But we're going to be right back. Uh, we're going to talk about some reboots, a game of Would You Rather, some relationship segment stuff, and more on the morning app.
And now back to your favorite morning talk show, The Morning App on 90.5 WASU. Welcome back to The Morning App. And we just want to let you know that 13 years ago today, Hannah Montana premiered the pilot episode <sighs> yesterday, March 24th, 2006. So therefore, we are all officially old. Natalie Broom say what? <laughs> oh, no. Is that, was that a catchphrase? Yeah, that's no, right. no she, niblets. <laughs> she had, she usually said a lot of things like 13 years, Hannah Montana premiered, like, yeah. like what or whatever. She did oh a God, long so thing. Yeah, yes. it's the same thing. Sweet niblets Sweet or Dan Flavitt Dang are both Flavitt. acceptable. <laughs> oh my, what a show. Oh, uh, it was so good. It, it was. We didn't know what we had until we lost the it. The Hannah Montana movie just... Mm. Was it done right? It was I, done I right. Seen, oh, I know no. it had this song yeah. on there that was really popular mm -hmm. when it came out. Oh, The Climb? The Climb, <laughs> yeah. That rocked a, a adult contemporary for a very long time. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, it was one of those that when they released it, Hannah Montana was still like a good show. Most of the time when they release things, it's already when it's the show's the kind of had its time yeah. or it's they're already kind of Stale. losing some momentum. So like, I know what'll save this, a movie. <laughs> it never does. And so, <laughs> well, and, <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah, the Hannah Montana movie came at just the right time. People were still like, yes, Hannah Montana, peak. let's go see this in theaters. I don't remember what year it came out, but I'd, that'd be mm. interesting to you to see. It had to be like, 2009, 10, 11-ish. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my. That's usually how they end it, though. That's usually how they decide, like, here's how we're going to put and a it, stop to this. It looked like they, the sitcom. way it ended, it could have very well just been the end right there. But then they kept going. I, maybe that was before the last season. Hannah Montana forever. Oh, yeah. That last season was hard to get through. It came out 2009, so 10 years ago. Oh, God. 10. I, I don't like hearing that. April 10th. So not quite 10, but it'll be 10 years in uh, Very soon. It was 2010, month. though? It was it was 2019. 2009. 2009. 2009. It is 2009. I'm there now. 19 now. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I yes. didn't get out of bed thinking I would feel this old. <laughs> no. 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 We've, the plan been, for we've just been t talking too much about that. But <laughs> Miley is definitely not at all uh, going to be going backwards into a reboot just because of what her career has been so far. Yeah. But there is a, a talk um, about a possible Drake and Josh reboot. I don't know how that's gonna work. Uh, there was a t there was an interview with Drake Bell uh, and mm. uh, on ET was that Entertainment News I think something like that. Entertainment Tonight. Entertainment Tonight. Uh, ET. E you know, like the movie. Uh, they <laughs> he was talking about that. They were talking about it. They were kind of they had some ideas. It's not like you know they're not in production or anything like that. But they brought it up. They're saying we got some ideas. We want to make it a more mature, you know, adult leaning kind of humor uh i don't know how that would work though yeah i don't i don't know what their specific plans are because it said yeah that it wouldn't be like a college years show it wouldn't be something yeah. where they're like oh we're in college now we're gonna pretend. it's a big jump yeah so and i guess they're just going straight to adulthood, adulthood. Miranda cosgrove's supposed to come back as well <gasps> for that. she is yeah because well they okay they have they have they have been on youtube together a lot recently i don't know oh. if you if you go on youtube um check trending every now and then and it'll be like drake and josh they're like together in the car talking about stories oh. from the past or like there's one video I really liked where they watched their old cringy videos from Drake and Josh mm. and they were explaining like oh that's when you know when we were on set this was happening and that was happening and like oh you improv that and they like crack me up or something and oh I, they're just trying cool. to ride the wave that they got from not uh, attending yeah. whoever's wedding Maybe. and then yeah. they like had to reunite because internet was nuts yeah. yeah and now they're just trying to r ride that wave because they're I like oh this is the thing we were successful <laughs> was there drama for that because when, yeah. when, they, when yeah. they were together they seemed like they were totally yeah, fine I, it didn't seem i forget who's what whose wedding was it was it i don't know josh's that drake did one of them i don't know which no, but one I of really them had i think a josh wedding. had it yes. i think josh was the one that got yes. married and then he didn't invite yeah drake, drake to the and wedding fans i just thought he was out. i thought he was just but, busy yeah well and it also seemed like it was kind of a smaller wedding type thing where it just wouldn't have made sense to and like I, I don't think they were very close at the time you know 
Mm. But now that they, they realize they touch. can get the attention from being together, like, ah, oh, yes, yeah. let's reconnect. <laughs> I don't remember it being something where at least Drake was mad about it. He was kind of just like, yeah, I, I'm not too hurt about you know? Yeah. But, eh. um, Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, and also, in the, in the article, it said that Drake Bell said something about the Amanda show yeah. reboot. I was like, that's Hold even up. weirder. <laughs> that, how? <laughs> I that's something that only worked in that time period. <laughs> it was just so I. Well, I've seen interviews of Drake, and he, you know, Drake was always obsessed with. I think who was Gene? Uh, who are the people? Who's like the guy from like Singing in the Rain? Like the older actors that were like he said he was just obsessed with like good looking, funny actors. You know, that okay. were kind of like, uh, who was the guy that did the song at Senior Rain? I want to say it's Gene something. I don't know if that's right. I don't know anything anymore. He, but he, like, he also was, he always talked about how funny Amanda was back when they were younger. I don't know what happened okay. to her, but if, if they, oh, yeah. and I don't know if they're still to, in, you know, communicating with each other or how that would work, but that couldn't be a Nickelodeon thing. It would have to be a, Comedy Central thing, maybe. Yeah, um, I don't know. But reboots are all over the place. I know. Have you ever watched um, uh, Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide? <laughs> yeah. Have you ever oh, watched yeah. that show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was basically. Not only you look confused. It was, it was an old, really old Nickelodeon. No, sitcom. it just triggered like a, a memory I had buried. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, fair, it's fair. it's one of those shows because it was yeah. only around for a little bit, but it was I loved it because oh, yeah. it came out when I was in elementary school and I was about to go to middle school and the whole show is about a kid who goes from elementary school to middle school and they make middle school seem like it was a jungle and he has this like <laughs> notebook where he has all these survival guide tips he's like the bear grills of middle school you know mm -hmm. and all this you know you'd be like tip number 478 you know always make sure you da 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 you know and, and it was yeah, just it they're was always nice. very outlandish and tips. uh at one point they were when, once it was over because it was a pretty successful show. I like yeah. a lot of people watched it when at the time that it was out. Um, I think they wanted they were, they were trying to make a high school reboot of it, but oh. it, the pilot never made it through. Yeah, it wouldn't. That's, it, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. It, it wouldn't work. It. Because mm -mm. when you have movies like Superbad, you know, like uh, you can't make a high school movie too kiddish. You mm. know. Yeah, the audience would be the same. Yeah. Or the different. Yeah. Yeah. No. It really. That really only would have worked for middle school. Yeah. That's. I'm glad they didn't try. To, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad it didn't actually work. Cause that. That's. It's a really sad thing when something does reboot and then it's just not good. Like you can't like when it's disappointing. the Kim Possible movie. <laughs> don't talk for, to me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm don't sorry. You me. didn't watch it, <laughs> Natalie. I don't want to. I hear didn't it. need to. That it's, promo was enough to not watch yeah, it. Yeah, it was pretty bad. But it's one of those things. Am I glad that the newer generation gets to see Kim Possible and like hear her story? No. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no. But am that I not, very disappointed that in the way that they portrayed Kim Possible? They yes. should just bring the old ones out of the VHS and just present those because Fair. that new thing was not worthy no, of being no. shown. It was odd. It was very odd. Kim Possible deserves the best of everything. <laughs> yes. Very it's a fair. sacred cartoon there. She is. You know, that was like the Powerpuff Girls of Disney Channel in a way. Mm -hmm. Yes. It was cool. Anybody could watch it. And I, I love that show. Oh, it was so good. What's the sitch, you know? <laughs> hey, well, well, <laughs> we will. we're going to be right back for a Would You Rather segment right after this break. Until then, here's Hotel California, the Eagles.
on 90.5 WASU and WASURadio.com. It's Monday, so we are going to play our Would You Rather segment. Very simple. Obviously, the rules are I'll throw out two options, all pan-picked from Reddit. So you've got some pretty interesting stuff that people come up with okay. on the Internet. And uh, we're going to just kind of do little mini debates as to which we would rather do. Are y'all ready? Let's yeah, go. Ready. ready to do this? <laughs> These aren't too crazy, but they are thought-provoking. So would you rather get $10 every time you eat an apple? It's a pretty sweet deal. Or $100 every time you eat a Big Mac? Mm. Big Mac. Wait, what was no, the... No, heck no. <laughs> Think about... Wait, okay, wait, wait. Wait, what was the price on the apple? Ten bucks every time you eat an apple. So you could eat ten apples for one Big Mac. Right. And get the same amount of money. But also, I mean, it's it's faster. Right? A Big Mac will be like, you eat one... I mean, Big Macs aren't really that big, honestly, if you, if you ask me. They're, they're pretty... Yeah. This, 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 this works because... I don't like apples. You don't? I hate you, apples. You hate apples? Wait, 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 wait. Do you hate red apples? Do you hate green apples? There's different kinds of apples here. It is both a texture thing and a, like a flavor thing. I hate all of them. Do you like onions? No. Okay, that makes sense. And also, <laughs> that the feeling it leaves on your teeth, like that... Um, Oh, sorry, oh, you no. don't like the skin when it gets stuck in your no. teeth, or like that's Who? what I don't like. Why would? Okay, yeah. You don't talk about when you eat an apple and yep. the skin gets yeah. stuck like in right in the middle of your, uh, mm-hmm. your tube. Yeah, I hate that. Yes, but that and just like the feeling on your teeth. This the like, film. Oh, what? it's disgusting. What? The that's thing bad. is, though, I could I, only eat one Big Mac every ten days to get the exact same money if I was eating an apple every day. Mm. Yeah. I'd only have to eat one every ten days. I could go to the gym that day. That's fine. I'm picking yeah. the Big Mac. But check this out. You go to Panera, mm. and they're like, "Do you, what do you want? You want a bread? You want sh- you want chips, or do you want that apple? You want bread? And you can you could I yeah, could cheat. You do want bread? You want bread? Yeah. But if you, but like I'll get an apple. That's a free meal. Basically. But, what? Because it's. But you still have to eat the whole apple, right? But it's like a tiny apple. You could eat a tiny apple. They don't make the, the, the apples are like I've yeah dude, they, those apples are not very big. Come up. on, no, they're regular they're, sized apples. They might apple be sauce. a little smaller, but they're still it's still a decent size. Apple sauce is okay. Apple juice is kind of okay. Apple pie, I can go along. So with if that. you yeah. have apples, yes. wait, no. would that what about count? Wait, 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 no. wait, wait, wait. Would that count? What if it was? <laughs> don't be offended. What if, what if it was apple pie and then there is like oh, a certain amount yeah. of apples put Wait, into it? It's a game changer. Would that count? Like you Wait, know, say there's but that would be bigger. Because mm. the apple pie would be huge if it actually yeah. had all of the still the a lot of apple pies you'd have to eat to make yeah. up. I mean, I'm guessing it's just like a raw apple. Just you just got pick it. from the tree. I couldn't do it. I really? gotta do the big Mac. I do the I do yes. the apple because. Honestly, I think you got to go out of your way to, you know, get a Big Mac. I feel like an go apple. Out of your way. There's I, McDonald's I would, on like every street. I would forget <laughs> about. I would forget about the fact that I make money eating an apple, and I would probably just eat an apple and be like, oh, ten bucks in my pocket. Like that's. See, that's but convenient. it would be going out of our way to go buy an apple to bu- to eat in the first place. So we're good with our Big Mac. That's so weird. <laughs> Okay. Well, I mean, that's just, I mean, you're, that's, you're that makes sense. You're the better sense. person. You are the better person. I just, I that's think, just, like, eating an apple a day keeps the doctor away, and then you'll have a 10, 10 bucks to just spend on whatever you want that day, you know? It's just, it would, it would put me in just the right amount of mood <laughs> every day, versus a Big Mac, I'd feel guilty. I'd be like, oh, no. But you'd have $100. I would. Yeah. <laughs> I could spend that on a shake weight. Get, get rid of that. <laughs> get rid of that Big Mac in my tum-tum. <laughs> Okay, okay. I don't know. Well, it's different for everybody. Uh, I just, that's I, I think I couldn't eat that. I would get so sick of apples. I mean, Big Macs, at least you could just eat one, like, <laughs> ten days. every once in a while and just, you know, whatever. You can go a whole week without eating one yeah. every time. You're but, fine. But I could keep eating apples over the long term, right? The older you get, the more damage that Big Mac's going to do. I'm not going to live that long anyway. <laughs> nah. Oh, my goodness. Can it's we fine. please change? But then again, $10 <laughs> over time or after inflation is probably not going to be very after much cheaper. So I don't know. Why are we bringing up inflation? <laughs> inflation matters. So, uh, yes, Dovey. You know, uh, 
a penny saved is a penny gone after inflation. So, um, what you got next, Tommy? <laughs> would you rather be able to go to sleep whenever you want mm. on command, or be able to wake up whenever you want without feeling like crud the next day? So you're saying that like you could stay up all night and then go to sleep for like a minute and then wake up and feel like you just had. Sure, but it wouldn't, <laughs> I guess that still wouldn't be, you know, biologically healthy for okay. your brain. But, te- but let's say, yeah, but you wouldn't, you would technically not feel that bad. And like, if you had to, you could do that. Maybe you just have to say, hey, this, this time I gotta make sure I get, you know, a full eight hours tonight. So, I don't know. I feel like that's dangerous. I'd like to go to sleep whenever I want because... Then you could just go to sleep early. Yeah. Or take a nap and then... Take a nap whenever. But it would be like you You're couldn't control when you woke up true. if you took your nap. True, true. So you got to just have, be a little bit more... Be a little bit more aggressive with your alarm game. But you could be in a car traveling and you could just be like, I'm out on an airplane. I'm out. You know, that's really, that's what I'm thinking about. Is the places that are hard to fall asleep at. And you, you could just fall, do it. You could just do it. But see, I don't really like falling asleep just random places. I, that's not, I, I don't think I'd want to fall asleep on an airplane that just catches me out. For what? Some I don't know. I don't like it. I don't know. Even if somebody's next to you and you 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 got your own little aisle? Yeah. And you're next to the I window? Really? Have you never slept on an airplane? I, I have, but it was when my mom was, like, seated beside me. So it wasn't as, you know what I mean? Oh, like my goodness. I, it's a little, di- I was also really sick, so. I, yeah. I was kind of, like, needed. <laughs> but I've, when, when, you, when you get to, like, really long flights and you have to, like, yeah. you, you kind of have to figure out when you're going to sleep to fight the jet lag almost. Like, I'm going to stay up at these hours and go to these hours, and when I get into this time zone, it'll be this time, so then I can go to sleep at this time. So... I always try to, like, pass time. Okay, so I'm thinking, though, <laughs> if we weren't in college, the whole being able to fall asleep on command thing would be perfect. Helpful. I would love that. But while I'm still in college, I want the whole being able to wake up. Because, obviously, yeah, you couldn't use it to excess. But at least just some mornings where you wake up, you like, you know that you're going to wake up and just hate everything. Mm. <laughs> like, I can't do it today. I can't make it to my 8 a.m then it'd be really nice to just, I don't know. I feel like the stress of waking up usually automatically wakes me up. So that's not an issue for me because I usually do snap out of it. And I'm like usually in a good mood in the morning. But for sleeping, I can never control when I sleep. So that might be a helpful thing to do. Mm. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. This is too much power for one waking person to have. <laughs> usually, I would pick the falling asleep whenever. Um, just because, you know, we, we live in, a, in an age of screens and technology and, you know, when your eyes get hurt in the end of the day and you can't, you know, sometimes you look at TVs for too long, you can't really fall asleep whenever you want. Mm-hmm. You know? I, I very rarely have a hard time falling asleep at night. Like, most of the time I'm just so exhausted that it's just, like, mm-hmm. instant. Well, that's good. I admire. You can change yourself to do that. That's. <laughs> but so I, yeah, I think the. The other one you have to worry about. You don't ever have to worry about missing your alarm or you yeah, know, which that is would nice. Be nice. Uh, the other one. Would you rather be half your height, or double your weight? Half my height. <sighs> half yeah, my height. High. I barely have any height anyway. Oh, Dude. I'd be <laughs> well, like you probably wouldn't lose t- as much well, then as like well, somebody who's t- taller. I'd be like. Two foot, oh, like good. seven or something. <gasps> oh, <laughs> is that the correct math? Yeah, about yeah, something like that. That'd be really tough. Yeah, it'd be cute though. <laughs> no, no. I, but then if I gain, oh my, no, I, I, oh goodness, that would feel terrible if I gained it, that much It's like weight. either way. It's like, what do you want? That's what, terrible. How, how do you want to? Both options, both ways. You'd, it would just be such a change to. Hmm. But at least gaining more weight is more socially acceptable than having to answer why you're two feet tall all the time. <laughs> why are you a <laughs> hobbit? <laughs> uh, Weren't you like five you. foot five the other day? Like what happened? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I wish I was five five. I'd probably, not quite there. I would just half my height. You know, I think that'd be. You fun. have enough height to be able to just well, gamble. I would away still then. be like 
a little under three feet though because i'm like five ten five eleven no probably five eleven so okay so that'd be know, yeah that'd be, be a little three. under under three feet yeah just barely under that's okay. still that's this is tiny. stressful yeah i don't like it I could not gain the weight. I, I could not do it. I would be miserable. <laughs> but at the I'll same just be tiny. I just being so small. <laughs> you can take the you can take the one hundred dollars every time you eat a Big Mac and half your height, <laughs> and then you can get both <laughs> over time. But you'd be really rich. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I, I choose the weight. I couldn't deal with being shorter than I, <laughs> I couldn't do it. That's just, that's really that's a really stressful one actually. It's yeah. not like we have to m actually make a choice, but when you think about it, you're just like. Phew. Both would be such a big difference in our lives to like. It would just be insane. Yeah, it'd be nuts. Anyways, when we're gonna come back after this break, we're gonna get into our relationship segment. So stick around.
And now back to the morning app on 90.5 WASU. There it is. There it is. There's the theme. It's time for the relationship segment. You know what it is. We talk about love. We talk about not just love. We talk about, you know, friendship sometimes, too. Yeah. Roommate issues or anything in that category. But today, uh, we're going to do a little bit of a rewind. Uh, just a random thought. Are types still relevant in college? Like, having, you know a very strict type of person that you may or may not like. Because when you're in high school, that, that was very real. The, the cliques were so strong at that mm-hmm. time, right? Yeah. And uh, you would, you just depending on the hierarchy or whatever it is, you wouldn't be in, you know, interested in somebody if they were maybe a skater or if they were a theater person. You know, typical high school musical plot. Yes, but yeah. But now, it, you know, that kind of still goes away, but do you think people still have, like, types that they're attracted to or not attracted to Hmm. in any way i think some tinder kind of helps perpetuate a little bit of that at least if people are actively using tinder they're looking for very specific types of people you know what i mean they'll like find random they'll be like i need a guy over six foot tall maybe it's a little more vague yeah like but uh, no i yeah but i'm trying to think in regular interactions if people have more low-key types where it's you know it's more of just like a personality thing where it's they're more attracted to like outgoing guys or more attracted to more shy type guys or like they have to have a specific type of humor rather than just being a funny guy it's like okay well i like witty humor but then some people really like just stupid humor just like kind of what I don't know I feel like types are less relevant because people are more willing to talk to each other and Mm -hmm. not associate whatever they're involved in Mm -hmm. with that when you first meet someone like I feel like you're more willing to meet people instead of putting them in a box yeah I think it becomes more vague I think it just becomes like you know, oh, I'm just interested in artsy girls, or I'm I like guys that are really good at math. I don't know. It just becomes more. It's less, it's less about the hobby, and more about, like you said, the personality that goes behind it. But you know? I, I definitely think some people do end up. I, if you're already kind of artsy, then it makes sense that you would be attracted to other people who are also creative in similar ways, even if you're not necessarily the same. Mm type of artsy but then I guess. you find them through like if you like you find what you're what like what you're studying because mm-hmm. you'll find, like you'll meet yeah. up with the same like similarly minded people mm-hmm. yeah. yeah that's yeah that's definitely i don't think that's necessarily a bad thing though that there are times when having a type is a bad thing where you're where you're kind of have the mental thought i can only well i can't date that guy because he is an athlete or something and i don't normally Mm. go for athletes so i don't think that would go well or something like that but i think that's when it's bad is when you're unable to be open to other guys that you haven't necessarily been into before but i don't know it's yeah i mean i probably wouldn't go for a frat guy like if we're talking about types we wouldn't go Uh, for yeah fair (laughs) fair yeah just because it's it's very different college experience too like what yeah yeah that's it makes sense but at the same time, you shouldn't completely shut down that possibility because you. But don't. you wouldn't talk yeah. like not talk to them if one walked up no. to you. You'd no. like have a conversation with them. But like being romantically, you yeah, know, committed yeah. Is, is is one thing. I don't know if uh, for me, I think it's if 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 uh, girls too businessy, like businessy people in general, okay. I okay. have a hard time clicking with because they're mm-hmm. all about the stats and like, <laughs> yeah. You know, this is just I think that's what it is. Just breaking down like personality types rather than. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Who, where they're in, or like what they do. Per what se. club they're doing. Right. Yeah. Interesting. So. Well, this has been a very quick relationship segment. We have to wrap <laughs> this up super quick so we can get on to our next segment. We have very little left on our show, but we will be right back. Here is the Beach Boys, California Girls, on the morning app.
on 90.5 WASU. And now back to your favorite morning talk show, The Morning App on 90.5 WASU. If you happen to be wondering why we're playing all California themed music, it's because I'm going to California this week for the Worldwide Radio Summit. Hey. I got, yeah, I got a scholarship um, to go. I was one of three student broadcasters that Dude, got to go, so it was pretty cool. It's awesome to have. Like, this is also the third year, I think, that yeah, we've been able to... Yeah, an App State student has been chosen for it. ...represent App at this huge event. Yeah, it's in California, which I've never been west of Nashville. I've never been somewhere where there's more than an hour to time zone difference Ooh. so i i'm low-key freaking out a little bit because it's gonna be such a just culture you, shock you like need a, to get a mason jar and catch the air and bottle it up <laughs> yeah it's and, and we can just start collecting them okay and just say like collect it at the worldwide radio summit 2019 <laughs> yeah but I, yeah, yeah. It, it'll be really cool like such a it's such a cool ex like opportunity but it's huge yeah. So yeah. I won't be here Wednesday and Friday on the show, but there's talk of maybe Ooh. having a, another morning men. So we'll, 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 we'll see. We'll see. How that goes. I've been wanting to do that for a while. Uh, <laughs> hopefully we can make it happen. If not, it's all good. But you yeah. know, until then, we're really excited for Katie, and we'll be happy to rejoin with her on Monday. We'll see you guys on Wednesday.